Cool. Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to this session of Unified GitOps Workflow with Crossplan and Argo CD. Uh, I pasted my yesterday's pic there just to be make sure this this is the last session of the day, but should be fresh in my mind. I've been first time to the Seattle. So, <laughs> okay, let's get started. Uh, I'm working as a senior engineering manager at Speedia Group India. I write sometimes tech blogs. Uh, I have a, I've been writing some uh, newsletter, which is Lit Yourself Up, where lit means leadership, innovation, and technology. Uh, you can find me on different social medias, uh, link here. In this talk, uh, I'm going to present uh, almost six different agendas you're seeing there. We'll talk about how EG platform footprint looks like, then what is the GitOps journey as of now, generally we are happening. We'll also uh, do a revision kind of thing, which we have been listening from morning, how Argo City works, CrossPen work, and then some deep dive into CrossPen composition. And at the end, I will be sharing some insights about case study, that how Expedia is building their GitOps journey uh, with these tools. Okay, let's start it. This is how EG platform footprint. So our mission was that yes, we should make a platform which would actually uh, kind of abstract it to all the developers and they would, they would just need to know, not need to know the nuisance of Kubernetes and all, and they would just deploy and run, build and run the containerized workloads in available, highly available manner to the production. So as all different platform uh, footprints, we always target that yes, we should make our workload reliable, we should have some progressive delivery in, in place, we should have some uh, identity and security compliance into the phase, and then we have automated deployments, we should be running in a cost-optimized workload fashion. Now, uh, these are the different tools of uh, open source tools which we have been using. Mostly you are familiar with, with Argo CD, Crossplane, Istio, Teleport, Kaiverno, Carpenter, and Keda as well. Then uh, Expedia Group is comprising of a lot of different organization, which is like homeaway.com, verbo.com, hotels.com. Now, all of them have natively been having different, different uh, kind of infrastructure layer. And then this team, which I'm part of, is building a centralized platform as a product uh, for, all the, uh, for all the infrastructure layers which we have acquired from different organizations. So if I talk about the footprints, it's like 35 plus different domains, including cars, crews, flights, and whatnot. Then we have 10,000 plus apps. We have been running 500 plus clusters, and 60,000 plus node, and then 200,000 plus ports. Uh, over AWS EKS. If I talk about a little bit on GitOps journey, uh, so I think the GitOps, this is what I have written a blog in 2020 about GitOps, where we was just discussing about different tools of GitOps, what could be better. Argo CD was also till that time one of them. And now uh, we, we also compare, I also compared there that what are different uh, differentiation between DevOps and GitOps, because it's this, that was during that time quite, of, uh, quite a new term, and people were still figuring out that yes, how, why there is always something with ops coming, no ops, ML ops, GitOps, and that's where this uh, differentiation in the matrix had helped, actually. Uh, I won't go into more detail in GitOps, because I think you've been hearing it, that's where we are all are here. I did, took this scre uh, screenshot, from CNCF survey where they are saying that almost now 50%, greater than 50% of cloud native deployment already using GitOps. And then we have already listened today that how certified GitOps associate and how certified Argo project recently in KubeCon has been announced. So it's kind of getting very at, uh, quite at the maturity stage right now. Now, uh, basically understanding the Argo CD in a very, very, very simplistic manner. Um, so Argo CD is, we all know CNCF graduated project. It deploys application in a very uh, declarative fashion, and we always want to that, yes, version controlled manner. We have always considered that, yeah, Git has, should be as a source of truth. So this is just a basic plane diagram which I've designed, not going in nuances or details of that. So any, uh, what functionality Argo CD does, it, any user develop, commit the changes to GitHub, 
Argo CD monitor those changes and then sync those changes back to Kubernetes cluster. So that always your GitHub's, uh, always your GitHub becomes the source of truth. Now, for doing this, Argo CD have three different core components, which has been written. Uh, like the one of them is the API server, which is like providing the capability of reaching out user with different CLI and UI, UI man, uh, manner, gRPC and REST API, one of them. And then uh, there is a ca cache, which is like repository server. Uh, so that's why the dotted line shares here uh, shows that yes, GitHub uh, is kind of a cache of GitHub is maintained to manage the Kubernetes manif manifest. And then there, are, there is a controller which always sees that yes, based on different kind of hooks, that yes, if the monitor and changes, uh, monitoring the changes and as well as the syncing of those changes happening to the Kubernetes cluster or not. Understanding crossplane. Now, crossplane is uh, about to get graduated. It's uh, still an open source CNCF project. Uh, we have been we have been installing and using it for uh, maintaining it in a kind of a GitOps uh, fashion, and GitOps enablement fashion only. Why? Because uh, crossplane also can act as a Kubernetes controller, which can watch the state of your external resources and provide those state enforcement back. It, it can, similar, in similar fashion, like Argo CD was managing your applications from GitHub, it, in the similar fashion, can manage your infrastructure resources across different cloud providers. And if something gets modified or deleted, it can revert back the state to the original state and then reconcile the deleted resource as well. So with CrossPrint installed in a cl cluster, you can uh, always talk to multiple cl cloud providers and their services, S3 bucket, Google Cloud Storage, all those, and then you can always have some interaction. So Prospen all the under the hood all, already provides all the provider APIs capabilities, which is like uh, you can always use the different Kafka, Elastic Service, the independent services as well. Then Prospen also help you out in your on-prem deployment, like say in the uh, in the banking world or in the world where we need a lot of GDPR kind of restrictions. You always then end up using some on-prem services as well then CrossPen can be an option for you as well to manage the uh, on-prem Kubernetes deployment. Then it's, uh, we always, we have been hearing in one of the session today morning as well that uh, we always need an API to talk for, for developers to not only for application, but also for infrastructure resources. So of course, CrossPen comes into play in that. It provides an API. You can always use uh, those different APIs, and uh, it could be again an abstraction layer for your developers that they don't need to uh, take care of what all happening at the infrastructure layer. They just can give you, yes, okay, I'm talking with this API and I need those resources. So what CrossPlane doesn't provide uh, is now getting provided in the CrossPlane composition. So what was previously there that developers still need to go and ask uh, cross plane API that I need that S3 bucket. Okay, then they have to provide all those configuration that yes, I need policy, I need policy role, I need all these attachment. And then uh, platform engineers have to work on that. Yes, okay, this request has been done from this developer. Maybe we are this, this uh, developer uh, specific uh, repo belongs to that specific unit or so, or this specific domain. So maybe we have to do do some automation or have to do management of their, their RBAC and then have to install those specific uh, infrastructure resource in a specific segment. But what CrossPen Composition provides actually, it's like you can always get your namespace isolation in a multi-tenant environment. So if you are using in a multi-tenancy uh, multi deployment in your Kubernetes cluster, CrossPen Composition is a way to go. Then again, um, we are saying in this uh, architecture as well that yes, it's kind of a composition, but what are composition? Composition are just a template for multiple managed resources, which can be considered as a single object. So let's say an, an application A needs uh, a specific VM, a specific storage bucket, and then also some of the networking configuration. Then that application just need to provide the claim. A platform engineer team can build a cross plane resource definition, which is XRDs for them, and those can be utilized. Now. What is the benefit of that as well? That you, you might say that we, the platform engineer is still building that, those XRDs. But then it's not the it's now not the app team concern that 
do I need to manage those name, namespace isolation or so? And even the platform team concerns are also quite limited because those XRDs can be reused by different different uh, uh, developers unit as well. That yes, okay, this is, this is kind of a template I have already built. If I need these similar kind of uh, deployments, then yes, I can use those XRDs and can generate uh, different composite resources accordingly. So yes, you, you get greater flexibility, you get high abstraction, uh, and then you can get uh, the portability of yes, you can always attach different kind of uh, claims together. So Crossplane take care of uh, managing those uh, corresponding cluster scoped XRs. What is XRs? Now again, it's a terminology for composite resources. And then uh, composite resources created, create those managed resources, which is at the end your uh, specific infrastructure getting spun up on the AWS EKS. Now, composition can include more than one managed resources as well, as I said. For simply a sp spinning up a bucket, you need policy attachment policy, and all these things definitely generates a friction in the developer experience. While using crossplane, uh, app team concern is just they need to provide the cross XRC, which is claim, and rest all of the uh, things would be done by the platform team in a abstracted manner. Okay, you that specific claim would have the kind of XRDs which, which they want to use, and then that specific resource definition would get them created the composite resource, which can in terms of uh, having the managed resources. Okay, so let's deep dive now to the how we have integrated cross-plane composition with Argo CD. So if you're seeing this layer, uh, so first of all is uh, again uh, the user admin, and then uh, this is ED internal API. It's, it's kind of an API which we have built uh, over across uh, all the infrastructure layer we have. Talk with uh, users. We are also using these uh, these API over the top of our internal developer portal, which is backstage. And then uh, what this what does this API does? Actually, you are seeing uh, different kind of colors coloring there. So Consider the green color, the, the lowest layer is actually the simple Argo application sets deployment. So any, uh, any user using EG internal API, submit the code, Argo. So that also means that we are using as of now Argo as a control plane and then uh, deploying all the units as a target cluster. So if you see in the control plane side, Argo CD control plane gets triggered and then it gets uh, uh, the application guest book, which I just gave an example, get created. And then those application can be deployed via Argo, watching back the GitHub, uh, and then it can be deployed uh, to the target clusters using, um, which is which, we, which is where we are using EKS. So that, that's the simplistic flow, uh, where no cross plane is involved as of now. It's a um, simplistic flow for deploying any Argo and, and any specific application. Now let's say you want to manage infrastructure resources, which we are discussing. Uh, in this specific talk as well. So then again, uh, Argo CD comes into a play. So Argo CD considers whether it is infrastructure or whether it is your application. For Argo CD, it's kind of an application only. So Argo CD considered that yes, okay, you you come up with the, you come up with the, let's say, AWS uh, S3 bucket, and then your application team just need to provide the AWS specific specific bucket claim. That is the middle layer. So the middle layer is giving you that yes, how you could create that claim. And the top layer, uh, which is again a blue layer as well, which is also needed. So which is like a platform uh, managed layer, because here you actually build the XRDs, which can be utilized by all the developers to generate the claim and generating those claim composite resources into managed resources. So the first layer, for the first topmost layer is built by the uh, platform team itself. Okay, I have to deploy crossplane into into all my target clusters. Crossplane in turn generates different CRDs, uh, which kind of managing the crossplane across uh, the infrastructure, and then uh, they, that crossplane providers XRDs are built by a platform team, and then crossplane compositions are being generated by the specific claim which had come up from the application team. And at the end, uh, seeing both. Uh, com composition, composition and cross-plane claim, we at the end get generated the composite resource. 
Now, once the composite resource is there, uh, it can then spun up the infrastructure, any infrastructure like I have given here the example of SQS and S3, similar way any infrastructure can be uh, built over in that. So uh, you can see also it's uh, segregated in different layers as well. So one of them is the user lane, uh, user plane where actually uh, all your um, all your application team can work and eventually uh, using different. I have just shown it with a simplistic manner. It could be uh, behind the uh, IDP as well, where they, they just need to go via UI and just click with some click button. They, they are deploying it. And the control plane is something, yes, it is being managed by platform engineering team end to end. We are as of now uh, uh, doing all this uh, in an open source fashion using Argo CD only. And then uh, at the end, the target clusters, which is where the application team would be able to see their resources get spun up and they are able to utilize it. So again, uh, based on, uh, so it's, it's a journey with which we are as of now uh, trudging on actually. Uh, so different teams, like uh, we have not scaled it as much uh, in the sense that we are still in a journey of migrating to Argo CD in, in full production world. But we have started those journey, uh, I think, uh, uh, six months back or so. So we have a big, big complex infrastructure as we have been talking about 10,000 plus apps and 500 plus clusters. So in the middle of journey of those, and uh, yes, going to experience a lot of difficulties, uh, which I've been hearing from the morning, and yes, uh, going to implement a lot of learnings afterwards. Uh, this is the basic snapshot, how it would look like. If you see here that yes, uh, these are the three, di three different applications, which is I was just showing in the previous architecture diagram as well. That yes, one of the simple applica application is like NGNX application, which you Argo CD seamlessly manage uh, the deployment. And then uh, whenever you create an S3 uh, claim, so that's, that's, that's S3 claim, which the manifest is also visible here, where you can see that yes, uh, how the claim is being targeted to yes, use a specific XRDs. And then uh, in the in the below, you are seeing that how the composition has been turned out to, okay, so then one of the composition and then one of these are composite resource definition. So the composition is interacting with composite resource definition and seeing that, okay, these are the type of uh, resources I can use. So let, let's say in the similar case, S3 bucket, I have already policy, policy role attachment and everything. I can just use it. Consider it, uh, it could be used for varied of use cases like, um, you need that, yeah, my networking, uh, my my EC2 should have an S3 bucket, should have all the networking configuration. All those things can be summed up or uh, can be combined in a composite resources and then at the end can be just uh, claimed via application team and can be created as a managed resource afterwards. Cool. Okay, the future consideration. So universal cross flow is something which we are, uh, we have been started exploring right now. Uh, we are seeing that, yes, how we could, uh, it, it's again an open source uh, uh, thing, which is like the next version of cross plane. And then uh, we are also seeing that uh, how we could make a single pen view to manage both infra and applications via Argo CD end to end, uh, where we could actually have all the 500 plus clusters and 10,000 plus apps deployed by Argo CD. We are also figuring out a lot of solution, uh, Argo City disaster recovery and different multi-control plane approach. As of now, it's like single instance on, on a Argo CD, and then the target clusters are uh, being managed by that single instances. But yes, we are also are doing a lot of POCs on that, how if we could have to install the Argo CD, because that, that I think the open source world have suggested different options. So if we could install Argo CD on control plane as well as, and on the, uh, Argo CD managed Argo CD kind of thing on the target clusters as well. So all those things are getting considered as of now. Yep, I think I am good. Then, any questions? Is it like just for the end of the day? <laughs> <laughs> or I have already cleared. Cool, thank you everyone. Yeah. Yep. Yes, we have backstage. It's that's what I'm saying. That in user plane, it's uh, it's behind the uh, behind the 
deployment we, we where the user is sitting as of now that is actually going to deploy everything via backstage so we are using that as a IDP. 